the greatest stories in the history of science is how evolution was discovered by two men, Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace. And the theory was, was published jointly together in 1858. But this story has a serious mystery that's been lingering for over 40 years now, which is that Wallace discovered evolution by natural selection while he was in the Malay Archipelago, what is now Southeast Asia, in 1858. He sent a letter to Darwin which included this essay of the theory of evolution, which arrived at Darwin's house. And the mystery has been that we don't know exactly when that letter arrived because it no longer survives. Like many letters from back then, it's lost. But what happened in 1972 was that someone found another letter from Wallace that was sent from the same island, apparently on the same day. And that letter still has its postmarks from Singapore and London. And it showed that it arrived two weeks before Darwin said he received Wallace's letter. That's the mystery. How can that be? There was only one mail route that went from Indonesia to London in those days. So Darwin's letter should have arrived on the same day as this letter that still exists. How can this be explained? This was a great mystery. Many books have been written about this, and a lot of conspiracy theories have been based on this, based on the idea that Darwin must have lied. He must have sat on Wallace's theory for a long time. Maybe he stole ideas. This is the way it's been portrayed. Well, recently, with the work here on the Wallace Online Project at NUS, based on a generous private donation, we've been able to solve this mystery after all these years. Wallace wrote the essay, and it was printed, so we know it was written in February 1858. In later years, he recollected, I sent it to Mr. Darwin by the next post. Well, there was only one post per month on that island where he was. So we know it's only on the 9th of each month. Well, the next one after February was the 9th of March. And that's the day that letter that still exists was sent. And it arrived in London on the 3rd of June. But Darwin said he received his on the 18th, hence the mystery. Well, all previous researchers who've worked in this subject have overlooked something very important, that Wallace was replying to a letter that came on the 9th of March. So it's almost impossible he could have actually written to Darwin on that day. Secondly, we researched the entire postal history from London all the way back through the Mediterranean, through Egypt, through Sri Lanka, Singapore, all the way back to the island where Wallace was, of Ternate in Indonesia. And we've now proven that the letter was actually sent on the 9th of April, the following month. Wallace's recollection was just wrong. So now instead of a conspiracy theory, we have a case in which it's actually the way it should have been. Both men independently discovered the theory and they published it together. Well, this breakthrough shows us that there's a lot of new discoveries to be made in an otherwise old story, so there's a lot of work left to be done.